Now, vomero nasal organ in human beings. That's what I was telling. It's this olfactory epithelium. I've already told you this is occupying the upper one third of the nasal chamber or the roof of the nasal cavity or the undersurface of the cribriform palate, right? But the vomero nasal organ, it is present anterior inferiorly on the two sides of the nasal septum. You can see it's this vomer and this septal cartilage. That's this point where you find is the vomero nasal organ. It's very small and it's like a patch of specialized epithelium epithelial cells at this place which is a tubular type of crescent tubular type of gland and this is how you know the histological features you can see here in the Jacobson's organs very much similar like you know the olfactory epithelium there were three types of cells even here there are three types of cells one is the you know receptor cells receptor cells are actually again just like you know remember the first cranial nerve I said that the first uh, order sensory neurons in the first cranial nerve they are actually behaving as the receptor as well because their peripheral receptors are like the dendrites embedded in the nasal mucosa while their cytomes lay outside the you know in the nasal mucosa well the central processes pierce the cribriform palate remember what i'm telling is about the olfactory epithelium it's a revision so there are like you know 16 to 20 million neurons in the nasal mucosa all of them in thousands of group they bundle up with their central processes passing to the cribriform palate and then they form around 16 to 20 phyla olfactoria that's also called the olfactory nerve so 20 nerves on each side you know separately on the two sides you have 20 nerves which reach to the olfactory bulb where they relay in the mitral or the tufted cells but they were also inhibitory neurons remember in the olfactory bulb they were like you know uh, granule cells and uh, paraglomerular cells periglomerulocytes so they were also inhibitory neurons now here it's uh, this tubular duct shaped organ the J jacobson's organ where you find their cells basically this organ has been you know not very much studied in humans so they mention it as dark cells and light cells and on the base you finding are the basal cells now basal cells are of course the progenitor cells for the replacement of those cells being shed off now the dark cells which are actually the receptor cells these receptor cells they have on the receptor side they have microvilli and onto the microvilli they have a g protein coupled receptors g protein coupled receptors and they identify the pheromones the chemicals which they get attached to it and then their processes that chemical thing is being processed just into the you know impulses in the or action potential in the neurons and is being carried by the zero cranial nerve to the accessory olfactory bulb okay and while these supporting cells the light cells are the supporting cells and the basal cells are for the replacement of the fallen or the you know dying out cells that is about the jacobson's organ